Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm just looking at uh, two fighters careers here. Uh, Clinton Woods and Tony Bellew. Now they've both got four wins over world champions. Four wins over world champions. Bellew's obviously got two wins over David A. He's got a win over Macabu, who went on to win a world title. He's got one over Cleverly. Clinton's got four wins over world champions as well. Now, the point I want to make is, they both ended up with British, Commonwealth, European and a world title, but you've got one that's self-promoter, Bellew, Clinton, who's very, very shy, but who would have won if they'd have fought? at 175 when you, when you look at the careers I mean Clinton got uh, he got knocked about didn't he by Roy Jones who, who at the time had beaten everybody who'd fought in 47 fights he were like super human and Bellew had been in with Superman and he Adonis Stevenson he got iced at 175 you could say they're similar fights although I'd have a peak Roy Jones to beat a peak Adonis Stevenson Bellew obviously got knocked out against Usek as well, didn't he? But uh, I think that was a bit of a mismatch myself, to be honest. But opinions vary, don't they? But the point I want to make is that Tony Bellew's only got two world title wins. Two. All right. Clinton's got more, a lot more than that. And he, he fought at a higher level, didn't he? From Roy Jones to Tarvarez Cloud, it was seven year, seven year, now that's seven year at dining at the top table, so Clinton did really really well, Tony Bellew, you couldn't really say that could you, uh, BJ Flores and Macabo, there is only world title wins, there is, there is only world title wins, two world title wins, he's got a massive profile so is that to do with social media and getting yourself out there and working your ticket and being in every interview and being in every magazine and every TV show? Is that what boxing's about? Does that detract from... How can I explain it? Does that detract from what his job is as a boxer? Can Tony Bell you fight? Yeah, he can fight, he can punch. Is he technically a good boxer? Yeah, but... Is he as good as what his profile is? I mean, what's he had four pay-per-views? I don't think he's as good as what his profile is. Now, Clinton weren't bothered about all that kind of stuff. He was more or less a world champion that just wanted to be a boxer and go home to his family. He didn't push all that kind of thing. He's a man's man, Clinton. Who would have fought if? Who would have won if they'd have fought at 175? I think Clinton, Pete Clinton Woods beats him at 175. I just thought Tony struggled at the weight. They're a similar height, Tony's an inch taller, than, but I think Clinton would have beat him at 175. But maybe I might be a little bit biased there, I don't know. He'd been a good fight, but we're, so, we're talking about Bellew that went life and death at 175 with Ovo McKenzie. And then in the second fight, he fought like a frightened rabbit, like Joshua in Saudi. He drew with Isaac Le Chilemba and then beat him on points. Stunk the place out twice with Isaac Chilemba. And obviously we know about Stevenson Eisner. So I don't think Bellew were a 175 fighter. I don't. I think he were a, a big cruiserweight boiled down. So that maybe gives Tony a few more points, a few more brownie points. And I don't think we can be as harsh at at him, uh, his career at 175 because he was fighting at wrong weight. A bit like Ryan Rhodes, he weren't a middleweight where he was really a light middle. And Ryan would have been pound for pound, in my opinion, a light middle, but that's another story. But I think Clinton Woods beats Tony Bellew at 175. Well, like I said, they both had good careers, but if you look, they both won uh, more or less the same kind of belts. But and same that same sort of fights but one's made a lot more money because he got his sin out there but did he sell his soul to get out there Tony Bellew I believe he did I believe he did but what do you think what do you think the fans 
what do you think leave a comment right, and tell me what you think and uh, if you like the video give it a like if you don't like it give it a dislike and if you're subscribed to the channel you get your pokey fix straight away to your phone through notifications all right so all right peace out